Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Stephanie's Stamp Pad, where we get together and we create a card. Now, you probably have all of the products that we're going to use in today's episode. If not, you can just go to our website and find them. Go to the video and you'll see them right down there at the bottom. Or if you need all of them, just click on buy now and you can get them all together if you need to. This one is a fun circle card. I have to be honest, this is one of my favorite flip -its because it has so much area to decorate on the inside. It's circle number two or three-ish, or uh, actually I have it right here, let's cheat. Uh, it's, oh, circle flip -its number four, because I guess apparently there are four of my circle flip -its. And when you open it up, isn't that cute? It says, for someone sweet. Happy birthday for someone sweet. Now, it's really fun to look at these cards because every single product on this card is designed by me, Stephanie Bernard, for Sizzix or Stamps of Life. And so it's really exciting. Let's see all the products that we're going to need. Now, like I said, you probably have most of these already. Number one, and the most important, of course, is going to be the Circle flip -its. It comes with 21 dies and a storage envelope to store all your dies in, which is fantastic. Now, one of the coordinating products with this is the dies that I designed to go not only with this, but to be used separately. And this one has seven dies, and we're calling this the Scallop Circle Framelit. And it makes that beautiful lace edge that we're going to use in a couple minutes. So those are two products. Then we're going to use just a couple of these stamps from the Chalk Sains to Stamp. So this does have matching dies. So it has this die set here that's matching dies. We're going to just use the happy birthday and the small banner. And we're also going to be uh, for someone sweet down there. We're going to use that one as well. OK, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to be using some of our exclusive pattern paper, which we are so excited about, the Celebrate Collection. And lastly, we have these beautiful, cute little daisies that are, per look at the ink on my fingers, uh, that's going to be perfect to add, decorate our card. Are you ready to get started? Let's start playing. The first thing we always need to do is make our card base. Now, when you hear that I have so many dies in a kit, don't ever be overwhelmed. You're always going to focus on the three largest dies. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab my beautiful die cut machine. Now, these dies, the flip -its especially, will work on just about every machine out there on the market. So if you have the green one or you have the burgundy one, you'll be OK. Of course, my favorite is the big shot or the big kick and even the vagabond. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to skew that on our platform to make sure that we don't have any speed bumps. I'm using a colored cutting pad today, pink, because of course, as you probably know by now, pink is my favorite color. Now, the die is going to cut and score at the same time. So I'm going to pop that out, and I'm going to move that off to the side. Then I'm going to die cut the layering pieces. Now this is kind of the hidden secret ingredient for our cards, because I don't have to remeasure. I don't have to do any special cutting. I don't have to do anything crazy. I just die cut them. Everything is done for me. We've already pre-measured everything. I'm going to skew that ever so slightly, lay this one down skew it ever so slightly so it goes through our machine beautiful. So nice to have that extended platform because then I don't have to worry about running out of space. I'm going to run that through. So easy, right? It's so fun with all of these new dies that I've created because you don't have to worry about, oh, how do I make it or what do I do? And everything's coordinated to go together. You don't have to try to figure anything else out. We're going to pop that out, pop that out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the, I'm sorry, we're going to die cut the circles. So we need two white ones and one blue one. Now the whites we can easily die cut at the same time. So we're just going to lay that down, make sure that we have it on there. Get that nice and lined up, perfect. And then the blue, we are going to use this beautiful scallop die. Now, I am going to use my Sizzix roller brush to clean it a little <laughs> because I noticed the last time I used it, I did not clean it. And uh, look at all, you can see it all flying everywhere. We want to give ourselves a good clean cut, so we always want to make sure our dies are clean. So, okay. Oh, one more's hiding. There we go. And now I've made a mess. Okay, we're going to lay that down and we're going to run these through. We're going to grab our cutting pad, and I always like to use a smaller cutting pad whenever possible because that way I'm I'm cranking less. And as you've heard me say many, many times, I'm very lazy. And I, why crank longer than I need to, right? So we'll grab those. And you can probably see by now why I like the Big Shot machine. Uh, we do have a plus machine, and it's a fantastic machine. But when I'm working like this, 
I love to have it because I can move it around so easy. We'll grab our secret weapon. I always like to work on that. And then we are going to start decorating our card. Now the layers all go together and if you want you can mix up the patterns because you'll know that this is always going to match that because it's all in the same pattern, um, all in the same family pad, but we'll just keep with our sample this time. So we're going to add this. But with that paper pad, imagine all the possibilities just by changing out the paper each time. You can make the same card so many different times, but it'll look different each time because you're just changing out the paper. So we're going to add that. Now, I always decorate the layers, then I fold it before I decorate the centers because I might think this is the front, but when I fold it, it might be the inside. So I don't mess around with that. We're going to hold it in the air with the patterns that we want facing us. Big bottom, little top. Fold it in half on the score lines the die has already created for us. Take the top flap and fold that up on the second set of score lines and then turn it to the left. Little side always on the left, LL, little left. And there is the beginning of my flip it card. So easy peasy. People are gonna wonder, how in the world did you do that? So now we're gonna decorate the inside. We're going to first just add our circle. Add that down right there. Then we're going to add the blue and we're going to pop this out gently and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's so fantastic. I love that lacy look. It's just so beautiful. We're going to now and these line up just right. So just line that up. You can line it up or you can go off centered a little. And I think I'm going to go off centered on mine a little just to make it a little bit more fun. So we'll lay that down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make our little border. I'm sorry, our little banner. So what I'm going to do is I'll stamp it for you. Let's get our stamp out. And I do realize we have one more die cutting, to, one more die cutting activity. And we're going to lay this down. Grab that. And you'll notice that this stamp is curved just ever so slightly. So we'll lay that down. And we're going to ink it up. Now this is the first time I've used this stamp. And as you know, I always like to stamp on scratch paper first. So we'll stamp on my notes and it looks great. The first time you do it, you just want to make sure that you get a good impression. So you don't want to ever stamp the first time on your project. So we'll go ahead and stamp that right there. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is die cut it. So I'll just leave it over here, kind of move it off to the side. I'm sure you can see that just fine. And we'll grab the matching die. Peel that out. So now normally you would die cut, I'm sorry, you would stamp the banner also, but we're going to do it just a little different. We're going to lay that down and we're going to run that through. Just need a little cutting pad. We don't need to be cranking all day long. And I just moved it. Did you see that? That was funny. Okay, so we're going to lay that. Oh, I'm snapping. Did you see how it snapped to that magnet? So we're just going to move the entire project so it gets exactly where it wants to be. We want the die to be happy and we want it to be on a magnet. So we're going to run that through. Perfect. Now just for kicks, we've added a little bit of edging around this. So let me show you what that looks like. You can see that we just added a little yellow banana ink all the way around. Now you might have tools that you can do that. I'm cheap. Cheap and lazy is <laughs> pretty much describes me completely. And so I just use cheap makeup sponges and I just add some ink and then I'm just going to lightly brush around the edges. Um, that way, once these get used, I can throw them away and you can get these at the, uh, at the discount stores for so cheap that uh, you don't even have to think about it. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of ink all the way around. And easy peasy. How easy was that, right? And then we're going to add some adhesive to the back. This is how I add adhesive. Oh, and I had it die cut on, stamped on the other side. This is the bad side though. So you can always add adhesive onto your secret weapon if you have scratch paper under you. So we're going to lay that down just like that. And then we're going to add our cute little flowers. So I'm just going to add a little adhesive here. Again, I keep thinking I'm going to get glue dots and I keep forgetting. Just funny. Okay, so there's one flower. I hope I didn't lose my flowers. Here's another flower. Add that there and add that there. Cute, cute. Now let's decorate the inside. So on the inside, what we're going to do is we're just going to add for someone sweet and a little flower, and it looks like some pop dots. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our circle for someone sweet, and let's find a block that's reasonable. There is a reasonable block. And let's get our ink. Ink this baby up. We are almost done. 
So easy peasy. Again, first time I've used it, I'm going to stamp on scratch paper, ink that baby up one more time, and we're going to stamp that right there. Now I am using the secret weapon underneath me because that's always going to give me a better impression. And I'm always going to cover my ink pads. They don't dry out very easily, but you will put your hand in it. Just speaking from experience, that's all I can say. So I'm going to add a little adhesive to here for the flower. Now you'd probably want to use glue dots or zots. There we go. And lastly, we are going to add some foam dots to the back. I'm not a huge fan of foam dots, but every once in a while I like to add them. But as I always say, I'm very cheap, so I'm going to cut these a little bit in pieces. You can buy smaller ones. I just don't happen to have any right here on my desk. And we're going to peel these off. One. Look how fun this is. This is such an easy peasy card. Now, always close your card to make sure you're putting it on the right way. You don't want to mess up. Lay that down right there. And look at that. Happy birthday for someone sweet. We're missing one thing, aren't we? We're missing our back stamp. We always want to make sure we put our signature on it because we want people to know that we've created this card. So we're just going to add that to the back. And we are done. Happy birthday for someone sweet. Easy peasy, didn't take that long, but so much fun. Thanks so much for joining me on another episode of Stephanie's Stamp Pad, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye.